Okay, so good morning everyone. Welcome to Physics 71. And today is the definitely, ito na talaga yung legit na final discussion of Physics 71. It's not Lecture 32, it's actually Lecture 34, which is on the Doppler effect. Even in the pre-pandemic Physics 71, the last topic of the course is on the Doppler effect. Yun talaga yung huling topic. So kahit pa magdagdag ka ng topic sa gitna, kung ba mag-extend yung number of SEMs, maybe next time, I don't know. Um, still, the last topic is legitimately the Doppler effect. So we will be focusing on one particular type of wave, which is the sound wave. Um, of course, we're all familiar with sound waves. Grabe naman kung di mo alam ko ano ibig sabi ng sound. Grabe naman yun. Um, uh, in that case, what is a sound? The sound is, uh, is a wave. But what type of wave it is? Is it? Uh, is it pala? Anong uri ng wave ang sound? Yun, pag-usapan natin. And then after that, we will uh, we will briefly discuss the speed of sound. In particular, the dependence of the sp of this speed of sound in temperature. Kasi apparently, kapag nasa air ka, uh, bumibilis ang speed of sound kapag tumataas ang temperature. So, pag-uusapan din natin yun. And of course, the main point of this discussion is on the Doppler effect. Um, How does the frequency change when, if you have a moving source and a stationary listener, how does it? Uh, how does the frequency of the sound emitted by that source change um, when it's received by that listener? So yun yung tigratin. Halimbawa, meron, ta meron tayong movable source, tapos may stationary listener. Anong naririnig, or an gaano kaiba yung naririnig na frequency ng listener dun sa, sa source? At the same time, there's another case wherein you have a stationary source, but a moving observer or a moving listener. Gaano kaiba yung frequency na... na, na uh, naririnig ni listener compared sa ina-emit ni source. So, yun yung pag-uusapan natin sa ating final discussion, which is today. Okay? So, here's an outside of this discussion. First, we discuss what uh, what sound waves are and the Doppler effect. Ano ba yung general formulation ng Doppler effect? And then second, we discuss the first case of Doppler effect, which is a stationary listener and moving source. So, if you have... um, This is part also of the annotated lecture slides. This The second section is also part of it. But I will derive the expression for the frequency of the listener in terms of the frequency of the source. Yun yung pag-uusapan natin. I derive natin yung expression dyan. Then after that, we will solve problems about that first case of the Doppler effect. Then the third case, actually, wala ito sa lecture, annotated lecture size. It turns out, kailangan nyo siyang pakinggan. Um, what if there's a reverse case where if you have a listener that's moving, but the source is stationary, what will happen? Actually, medyo mag-iiba lang yung equations mo, pero the idea is it's still the same. Siyempre, kung mas lumalayo yung um, yung listener, uh, syempre, mas mag liit yung magiging frequency na maririnig. Yeah. On the other hand, pag lumalapit yung listener sa source, mas malaki yung frequency na maririnig. Yeah. Or mas mataas yung frequency. Mas mataas yung pitch ng sound na maririnig niya. Yeah. Okay? So, are there any questions in this object, um, in this um, outline, in our outline for today's discussion? Meron bang tanong? And so far. And so far, thank you. So here are the objectives of this topic. So at the end of this session, is lang objective natin, yes. Um, we relate the frequency in wavelength of sound with the motion of the source and the listener. Apparently, there is a relationship between the wavelength um perceived by a listener and the uh, the, its motion or its relative motion with respect to the source. Okay, lahat ng pag-uusapan natin dito ay with respect to a medium. Okay, are there any questions in this top uh, in this topic talaga? In a topic agad. In this uh in our set of objectives, may tanong ba? May tanong. None. None. Okay. 